tracking for you this evening. Venture capital firm Cornerstone Ventures that specializes in B2B enterprise technology investments has announced the launch of its second fund. The fund has a target size of $200 million, including a green shoe option. To elaborate on the plans with this new fund, joining me now is Abhishek Prasad, managing partner at Cornerstone Ventures. Abhishek, welcome to Startup Street. First, tell us how many companies are you looking to invest in with this second fund? What will be the ticket size of the investments and how soon do you start deploying this capital? Well, thank you for having me. It's uh, exciting to see the news that you guys have been covering. Uh, we're looking to do about 15 to 20 transactions from this second fund. The check size would be 5 million to 15 million. The stage that we want to participate, typically Series A, Series B, that's what we like to back. Hmm. And our goal is to put in enough money for these, you know, for our founders to be able to build this company to the next stage, which is at least 24 to 36 months of capital should come from our participation, right? So that's what the focus of the fund is. And how soon, Abhishek, how soon do you start deploying funds? So we are targeting a first close by June. And okay. we hopefully will announce the first close with a few transactions already done, right? Okay. So that's... All right, Abhishek, what's interesting is that you want to back startups that have built multiple revenue streams and have shown account level profitability. Now, these businesses are then raising capital only to support growth. So how do you pick these multi-baggers? What's the criteria? So, based, you know, we look for two, three things, right? One, of course, you have a clear path to scale, hmm. right? So first of all, you are looking at either building in India for the world or you're building for the domestic market, which is large enough. What we like is companies who've already proven their commercial validation. So you have at least a couple of million dollars of revenue already. You have repeat customers. You have customers who are increasing their exposure to you. Your revenue per customer is moving upwards. And what we mean by value chain presence or value chain control is that you're not only seamlessly you know, in improving the flow of a workflow, but also passing the commercial value through that, through your platform. And that's where you can take revenue from different stakeholders at different points. And that creates tremendous growth in value for us, right? So that's okay. an example of the kind of uh, opportunities we can make. Sure. Back. Abhishek, let's also talk about your fund one. I believe you've achieved more than 4x growth multiple on investments made within four years. Uh, is fund one fully deployed? Yes, so Fund One is fully deployed. We deployed it across 21 companies. Okay. Of those 21 companies, about 15 are the larger checks and six are new areas where, you know, moonshots where we took some early bets. Mm. Uh, the idea of uh, making these investments and this whole 4x growth story is actually the cumulative revenue growth that these companies have delivered. And we've made these investments over a four, four and a half year period. And if you think about it, you don't make these investments on day one. You've been making investments every quarter. Sure. So that's the kind of growth that the portfolio has been delivering. Okay. Which several of our companies are rather new, right? And, uh, you know, not been there for four years yet. So, that's the growth we have. So what have been the key learnings, Abhishek, from fund one that you now take on to the second fund? So one thing that we realize is that obviously we've always been the lead investors. We like to take the primary seat when it comes to making these investments and our check sizes in the fund one were two to three million yet we ended up doing you know participating in rounds which were say five to seven million in size mm -hmm. so we had a lot of other smaller investors come along with us in this fund we're trying to increase the fund size continue in the same stage but given all the effort that we put in along working alongside our founders we want to really enhance our ownership in okay. these companies. We are working with them hands-on on a monthly basis, trying to bring in new revenues, new customers, new partnerships for our founders. We often tell them, treat us as your team, as your employees. And that's where we want to commit more. Okay. Abhishek, over the last year, we've seen that bringing in AI capabilities has become key to enterprise SaaS. How are you seeing this play out? And you also talk about investing in next generation enterprise technologies. If you could also help us crystal gaze into the future and tell us what problems will these technologies be solving? See, AI is, you know, delivering a so-called inflection point for us in the enterprise SaaS world or in the enterprise tech world. Every company that is dealing with significant data can actually leverage AI capabilities to enhance their value proposition. 
And we are seeing a lot of that adoption already across our existing portfolio. So it will continue to be something that we are constantly looking out for in terms of how's the value proposition getting supercharged with AI, mm. right? And that the, the whole idea of next generation enterprise is that you, what is the enterprise of the future going to need in order to keep up with the way technology changes, to keep up with the way the next generation enterprise needs to engage with its end customers. Yeah. And that's where opportunities, say, in the Web3 world, plug in into our broader enterprise tech space. Mm. We're also excited about doing investments in the carbon neutrality space because okay. every enterprise today is making commitments to you know zero carbon or net zero in the next five to 10 years. Sure. And there's a massive opportunity to enable that. All right, one final question before I let you go. The first fund was anchored by DPIIT Fund of Funds managed by SIDBI and Self-Reliant India Fund managed by SBI. Give us a sense of the kind of investors you have in fund two. So similar investors, we, we expect to bring in, uh, you know, hopefully both of these as well and similar larger institutions, not only from India, but also globally. Mm. Our first close in June should be at least about 40 million of the corpus that we're targeting. And that's when we start opening the doors for larger institutional investors to come in. All right, we'll surely be keeping a track of that on Startup Street. Abhishek, many thanks for joining us today and wish you the very best for the future. Thank you for having me.